So I'm coming to the end of my experiment of growing early red cabbages and it's been a resounding success. So I started two batches of them uh, back in autumn and I'll put the exact dates up as an overlay so you can see them. Um, these were the earliest batch and so these are really quite substantial cabbages now and you know the date is the 5th of July and my other early red cabbages the ones I started in sort of February sort of time those are quite a few weeks away from harvest so at least four weeks away from harvest probably a little bit longer and we've been harvesting these early red cabbages from autumn for about four weeks so we've basically got them about eight weeks early I'm very happy with that because we really love red cabbages we also started some green cabbages spring cabbages and some of those went to seed but some of them had the most amazing like mini cabbages that have grown um, you know off the stems so those have been a real delight and uh, they're, de they're definitely worth having so let me just talk you through how I grew them. So as I said, started off in autumn, a couple of batches. So we've got a nice long succession. Although to be honest, just the earlier batch would have probably been fine because they've all stood really well. Not a single one has gone to seed and we've had some pretty wild weather. So I would have expected at least one or, one or two of them to go to seed, but no, not a single one. They've all held really big, really well. Um, grew them, uh, in the polytunnel until sort of February time and then planted them out. Some of them got planted out in this bed here which had a low tunnel over the top of it, polythene low tunnel, um, and so they grew a huge, huge amount of leaf growth and really nice big heads. Uh, the other ones I planted in what is now my carrot bed, uh, that was a nice long thin bed and so I had them all the way along there they didn't put on as much leaf growth but we still got really nice um, cabbage hearts off them some of them were small you know some of them were only that sort of size some of them sort of this sort of size uh, so still you know pretty good and you know generally about a week's worth of red cabbage which is kind of what we wanted um, and yeah they finished last week so basically at the beginning of Ju july which is a kind of good time in for uh, putting in your late carrot crop. So that worked pretty well for us. Uh, those just grew under fleece. So no extra protection at all uh, for those. And I would say, you know, really not substantially worse a crop than the ones that were underneath this low tunnel. So a low tunnel is definitely not required. And they did have some pretty cold weather as well on them. And they still sort of weathered it all without going to seed. So it's been a great experiment. We've really loved it. Uh, as I say, we really love red cabbage, super healthy, and it looks really beautiful on the plot as well. So my name's Steve. This is the Seaside Kitchen Garden and Allotment Channel, and I'll see you soon.